Well, hey folks, welcome to this week's Steam Culture coming to you from this chair. Now, there's a reason I'm sitting in this chair, and it's because today we're talking about rebonded foam. Now, what is rebonded foam? This guy, you've probably seen it a lot. Um, it's commonly used for carpet padding, but it's also used for seat cushions, like the cushion that I'm sitting on. Also for automotive seats and some different packaging options. Now, this really started as a recycling program because there was so much foam that was being discarded. It's actually turned into a really, really large uh, industry. So how do we make rebonded foam? Well, I'm about to tell you. So you can imagine with all this excess foam, what they do is they gather it at a facility, sort it, and then they put it into a pulverizer or a grinder and chop the stuff up real good. So now you have a mixture and they, in that mixture, they put a, a binder or basically glue. So they press that into a, a large form. Into that form, they seal it up tight, then they add steam and they cure that glue and it makes one big solid piece. See, they didn't make this, it actually came out of something called a log. Large piece and then they run it through a cutter and they cut this into a sheet like this or they cut it into the form of a seat cushion or a, a, a seat back or some packaging solution, something like that. So now you know when you're sitting down what's under your your backside. It's rebonded foam under your backside, only here on Steam Culture. So while you're sitting down resting on the rebonded foam, do some Googling. Find us on the interweb. We got all kinds of great content out there for you every single week. And while you're doing that, I will make something new for you. Thanks for joining me on this week's Steam Culture.